Yes, the conclusion is a bit abrupt, but it does have an emotional resolution to the first part of the planned duology. Warning, this video contains spoilers for Dune. It's incredibly gracious of director Denis Villeneuve to make sure that his title card for Dune actually reads Dune. Part 1. It prepares the audience that this is not the entire story, so that when the conclusion of the film does come, you're not simply thinking, wait, that's it? Because at first glance it would seem to be an unfulfilling conclusion. Paul and Jessica have been driven from their home. The evil house Harkonnen is on the rise. The Empire has pulled its strings, and heroic characters like Duke Leto and Duncan Idaho are left dead. Paul simply wanting to walk off with the Fremen isn't much of an ending. And that's because narratively, it's not the end. There's an entire other movie that Villeneuve hopes to make. And yet the first part of Dune is not anticlimactic in terms of Paul's emotional arc. The conclusion of the film serves as a payoff for Paul's dreams of the Fremen, and a sign of what he must do. So why does he have to fight a Fremen to the death? And why doesn't he agree with Jessica that they should try to strike back immediately against the Imperium? The ending explains that by showing that Paul is coming into his own and learning to understand his deepest fear, which is that he will become a tyrant. For a movie where a repeated mantra is fear is the mind killer, we're left wondering what it is Paul truly fears. At the conclusion of the film, we get our answer as there's a vision of him conquering worlds to bring peace. And it's a destiny that tears at the young man who doesn't particularly want to fight or cause harm to others. We know that Paul doesn't seek to rule. But now that mantle has been thrust upon him with the death of his father, and in order to bring peace to Iraqis, he also needs to ally with the Fremen, which in turn will mean more fighting against the Harkonnen. The conclusion of Dune is a beginning in a lot of ways. It's Paul coming to his destiny in the desert, starting to become his own man, and that he can only realize that destiny among the Fremen. But from an emotional standpoint, Paul is facing his fear a fear he couldn't even completely acknowledge before because it wasn't totally clear. Paul's battle with the Fremen and being forced kill the man foreshadows the larger theme of Dune, which is that there is no bloodless peace, and no one rises to power without getting his hands dirty. But for Paul, the question is whether or not that darkness that's required to rule will consume him. We'll find out if and when Dune, part 2 arrives. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.